Hello everyone, it's Kay. How are you? I hope you have a great day today and I hope you had a great weekend. So uh, this is uh, 14th of March 2022 on Monday and uh, I, will, uh, I won't be talking about the market today but uh, I want to talk about a specific topic which is uh, which teacher is good for you. Uh, I'm talking about the Forex teacher as example but I think this is universal. Whenever you choose a specific teacher, um, who w would you like to uh, learn from is today's topic. And I will talk about also uh, my impression. And let's say I want, let's say I, if I want to learn some new strategy from someone, then uh, what kind of teacher I would choose. And I, can, I will share it. And also you can uh, give me some feedback in the comment below. So uh, since I will be going outside pretty soon, uh, that's why I decided to take this video. But I hope you enjoy the information until the end. But before starting here, as a quick disclaimer, uh, this video is all for educational purposes only. So when you decide to take trades, please do at your own risk. Okay, and uh, recently there are many sp scam scam scammers and spams out there. Uh, using my name so i only use my website and youtube and twitter and i don't use telegram or instagram or facebook so in case you receive any messages from these sns including twitter these are all fake because even twitter i disable the message function because i get uh, too many messages in twitter and i wasn't able to handle so in case if you receive any messages directly including twitter these are all fake, so just be careful. The best way to reach me is by email, which is also in the below description. So uh, yeah, so once again today, um, I know USDJPY is going up nicely, so I hope you are taking some nice pips today. For me, no trades because I was outside and meeting one of the Ichimoku members and uh, uh, no trades for myself. Afterwards, I will be going outside, so yeah, it's okay for me. But uh, today, I met uh, this person, um, and he's uh, from Australia, and he was visiting Dubai, and tomorrow he's leaving to other country, and he is a Ichimoku member, and also uh, he's joining the GTS in April. So that's why I met him today, and we had a nice conversation for two hours, and. In, in two hours, we were talking about also, uh, you know, many, many different topics, but one of the topics was uh, what kind of teacher he has been signing up before. So he was actually signing up uh, different teachers before for, for, to learn Forex or to learn trading. And uh, one of the teachers was, um, he said that the, he, the t one of the teachers uh, was not really good at calculation, so was not really good at numbers. So, and he was good at numbers because uh, he was a, uh, you know, financial background and uh, he was very good at numbers. But that teacher was not really so much good at the numbers. And uh, that's why he said, he said that, you know, maybe he's not a good teacher for, for him. And the other teacher uh, he signed up was like, uh, once he signed up on the course, he was, you know, uh, he learned in the course. And while he was learning the course, uh, he was kind of losing by using that strategy. And he was consulted, consulted with that teacher. And that teacher actually, uh, what he said was that, you know, so if you're losing with my strategy, then uh, buy this uh, indicator or buy this, you know, robot or EA. So uh, he charged something extra after joining the class and uh, he had to spend you know, more money than originally he thought. And uh, I thought, you know, when I, when I heard that story, I thought that's something wrong. If he cannot win over time with that strategy, without using robot, then uh, there is no, there is no uh, point to pay some, something extra to be able to win. So uh, we were having the discussion for uh, for uh, maybe 30 minutes or so about that topic. And uh, I thought this is a good timing to talk about this topic because if I were, choo if I were to choose 
certain specific uh, teacher, then I would choose that person. I have clear uh, opinion about that. So uh, today, I just wanted to share that with you. So yeah, so I have the slide. I just created the slide very quickly. So based on this slide, I will talk about that topic. So who is the best teacher, best Forex teacher for you? And if not Forex, that will be universal. Like uh, if that will be music teacher or sports teacher or a weightlifting teacher or any, any kinds of teacher you can imagine. Uh, who, what kind of teacher would you pick for you uh, to learn something new? And today, I will pick a Forex teacher's example because this channel is about Forex trading and uh, I think it's better to focus on that topic. So basically, when I choose a teacher, if I were to choose a teacher, um, what I think would be uh, main three main pillars, and those are here. I would, I would look at personality of the teacher, the mindset of the teacher, and also the trade result of the teacher. So let me break it down one by one. So first, I will talk about what kind of personality I would look into when it comes to choosing a good teacher for me. So one is uh, my honest. He has to be honest and he has to be humble. This is my top list because if, he not, if he's not honest and humble, then uh, maybe he, he might tell me a lie or he might, he might say something you know, different uh, along the way and I might confuse with what he says. And, uh, and also clean words is also important. Uh, you know, when he says something with the bad languages, you know, some people have this habit, bad, bad languages. And uh, yeah, for me, if he says some bad, bad languages, in my mind, I feel that he's too emotional. And if the person is too emotional, then I don't want to choose him as a teacher because in Forex or any tradings, um, emotion is not really important. So not too aggressive, but um, if, he, if he at least use clean words to explain something, I think that will create a uh, you know, welcoming atmosphere. And also, um, you know, honesty is important for him also as a personality. So these will be my top list as a teacher if I choose as a personality. And then also, um, this is also what I feel, like no difference between YouTube and replies. So what this means is that, actually I had this example. Uh, once I was reached by one of the YouTubers on Forex and for collaboration, he emailed me. And the way he write email was not really professional, not really, you know, uh, formal. He so for example, like when he types U, like Y-O-U-U, he types like letter U instead of saying Y-O-U, like this. So he was using some broken language in the email, the official email, for me to collaborate. And when I see that, I replied officially in a very in a business manner. I replied the email, but when I see that kind of you know, letters or broken languages in the email, uh, I don't want to learn from him. Uh, but in YouTube, he was doing very, you know, nicely. I don't want to show up his name because, you know, that's not a topic. But uh, in a YouTube, when I see him on YouTube, he was very you know, nice. He looks a very nice guy. But when I saw the reply on the email, it was too broken. So that's why I decided not to collaborate. But let's say when you meet a person, uh, make sure that that person is not really different from YouTube, what he shows on YouTube and what he actually shows uh, you know, face to face or in the email reply. If you see some difference in between these, then I think uh, he must be, I think he must be, you know, showing uh, something different from what his originally is. So I think this is also important uh, based on my experience. And also not too greedy is also the topic because, you know, oftentimes when you search YouTube and Forex or even cryptos nowadays, you will see these uh, very greedy people are talking about, you know, how many, how much I want, how much I, you know, make, and uh, what kind of living style, you know, kind of flashy kind of type of uh, person. 
And if I see these very greedy type of uh, videos on the on the in YouTube channel, or um, you know, let's say material materialistic person, I don't want to learn because that's not the way I am. Of course, I live in Dubai right now, and I live in downtown Dubai. But uh, to be honest, I'm I I live here because I personally like this style, and not to show off really. I'm not here to show off anything, so that's why, you know, whenever uh, he does something as a teacher, if he likes it, that's good. But uh, if he's, how to say, like if he's a bit exaggerating on what he does, or if he, if if you see him in a kind of a kind of greedy greediness or a materialistic personality, then I won't choose that person as a teacher for myself. So that's also the one. So, uh, and I think there are some other uh, personality traits that I won't choose. But uh, yeah, these will be the ones I think in mind for now. So that's a personality. And so now, second topic is a mindset. Because I closely look at the mindset of that person. And uh, in the mindset, you can't really tell from one single video. If you start to see series of videos, maybe 10 videos or 20 videos, even up to like 50 videos, if you see it, then you can kind of know what kind of mindset he has in terms of the money or in terms of the trading or in terms of strategy, in terms of the consistency. So this part I would look at. And if I break it down, uh, I would say in terms of mindset, I say um, I would choose a one who doesn't say how much you can make or how you, how much you can make or you can make money easy and quick etc because uh, how much you can make really depends on the size of your account of your trading account if your trading account is very small then uh, uh, you know uh, obviously the, the the money you can make will be much less than big account and so how much you can make does not really matter because it's not universal. But if he says that, then I think that's something wrong for me because it's not universal. And then uh, you can make money easy and quick, etc. Let's say my strategy has 90% win rate or 80% win rate. So if you use my strategy, then you can make money quickly. Believe me. Like that, you know, sometimes I see people say that in YouTube or, uh, you know, any different other communities. And when I see that, I always doubt because, uh, you know, there, we can't really, you know, uh, make money quick and easy unless you master something is the truth. Until you master something, you can say that. And also, even if you master something, then uh, the market may change. So... Essentially speaking, we can't, no one can say, you know, my win rate is 90% all the time. Or you can make money quick and easy with my strategy. Because if the market changes, then uh, your performance might be worse. And I know that from my experience. And that's why uh, in some months along the way, I, my return is 0% or 1%. But in some months, my performance is like 20% or 30% return. So, um, it fluctuates, and I think that's that's the that's the uh, I think truth on whatever strategies you use. But uh, if you say if you hear someone says you know you can make money quick and easy is my strategy, then most likely I won't trust. So I will be staying away from these guys. So that leads to the second topic. You know I want to follow someone who says something universal. So um, something universal means, you know, not about how much you can make, how much you lose, or, um, you know, but uh, universal means like, uh, for example, win rate is universal. No matter how much account you have, win rate is universal. And what I usually say, uh, risk and reward ratio, which is shown by the profit factor, is also universal. I value the profit factor the most uh, than other numbers so 
these universal words you have to hear. And not in terms of the performance, but also universal in terms of uh, the mindset. Like, uh, you know, there is no shortcuts, for example. There is no shortcuts. You have to study and you have to really take effort to learn how to trade and how to be a non-losing trader and how to be profitable. So there is no shortcuts. This is also universal. Whenever you want to study something new, that's universal. And also, uh, you, have to know the you have to know the right way to think about the market and think about the forex or trading itself. And that's also universal too. So um, if he says something universal, I want, I want to follow, which means let's say if he describes about the market or forex or mindset, and if you hear that, uh, can you apply that concept to other things? Let's say learning how to play the violin or um, learning how to swim or learning how to drive, let's say. Anything, if you want to learn something new, do you think you can apply what he says to different fields? And if you can apply to different fields, then he's saying something universal. And if I notice that, I want to follow him. So that's also one of the things I will really focus when it comes to choosing what teacher to follow. Um, and also, this is also important. Uh, I want to follow who can say, I don't know when he doesn't really know. You know, sometimes if he doesn't, even if he doesn't know, uh, he wants to, he wants to show that he knows. So, uh, you know, he pretends to know something, uh, although he doesn't really know. And I think this is very dangerous for everybody because uh, you might misunderstand on his information. Let's say if he doesn't know, I, personally, I don't know about uh, volume because I don't use volumes and I don't know about the GAN theory because I don't use GAN theory and uh, you know there are many things I don't know I don't know about the cryptos what's happening because I'm not really you know trading cryptos real time so I don't know about it but um, uh, you know whenever you ask someone something and if he can say I'm sorry I don't know then I think he is true Instead of saying, okay, I've heard of it, it's that, or it's this, you know, trying to make up the answer. Um, uh, if he's that type of person, if he has that type of mindset, then I don't want to follow. And the other one is, uh, I want to follow who does not change his mindset. You know, sometimes, you know, let's say one day he says this, but the other day he says that. And if we see him, you know, saying something different, you know, from like every day or every week or every month, and that will be very difficult to follow and you might confuse yourself. So uh, if, he, if he says something different in terms of mindset, um, I think uh, you better stay away from him. Let's say one day, let's say I, you, you hear him saying, I'm a trend follower. But on the other day, he says, I trade in the range market. Then, uh, you know, you will be mixing uh, the mindset and uh, the, the ideas. And I think uh, you don't want to follow him. So these are some uh, teachers I would follow in terms of mindset. So um, the last topic is about the trade result. This is also very important as a proof. And... Um, I have three points here. So I would like to follow who can who shows monthly or yearly reports. Uh, if he doesn't really show that, then uh, there is no proof. So, but uh, for me, uh, to be honest, the report yearly monthly is I think the, the lower priority. I will value more into mindset and personality because if I can learn something. You know, if I can't learn something from him, then that's already valuable. But uh, if you have also the monthly or yearly reports from him, that will be something extra. Um, in, 
Uh, yeah, and also um, trade experience and what he has learned is also very important if he shared that also. Uh, if he's only having two years, let's say one year or only two years of his experience, then um, it's not tested over time. The strategy is not tested over time. So, uh, but if he has, let's say, 10 years of experience and he's still making profits every year, then that is more tested over the years. So which one's better is of course latter. So um, if someone, if he is, he has a trade experience for long years and also, um, also if he can explain what he has learned from these past years, uh, that will be something extra too. And the last point is um, be able to explain all the steps logically from entry to exit. This is also very important for me because uh, I think that the tra all the tradings should be logical and it shouldn't be emotional. So, and it shouldn't be with gut feelings and the trading should be, sorry, trading should not be, uh, you know, your own intuitions. <laughs> because all the trades should be logical and objective and should be able to explain step by step. If he asks him, let's say, why did you enter here? And then he should be able to explain. Why did you exit here? He should be explained uh, logically or objectively. And why did you trail the profits? Why did you set the break even at this point? He should be explained logically. Uh, when it comes to explaining something, uh, it has to be universal. Uh, you know, if if I if you if you hear someone says, why did you? In the in this case you enter here, but in that case you enter there, and why there is difference? And if he says because it depends, then I think I don't want to follow him. If you can explain the difference between why, in this case he entered here, but in that case he entered there, he took these confirmations than the previous. If he can also talk about the difference and explain the difference logically, then uh, I want to follow him. So um, these are some um, trade results and trading related uh, uh, topics uh, I would really look into when it comes to choosing a best teacher for myself. So uh, yeah, I think there are more points, but for now, these are the points that I can think of right now. So um, yeah, um, it, you can also think about it, like uh, what kind of teacher you like to follow. If not Forex, you can think about the other fields and uh, also if you had a good teacher before in your life, in any fields, uh, please comment also on the below description and uh, let me know what kind of teacher you really liked before. So, uh, but when it comes to Forex specifically or trading especially, uh, it involves money and you can lose money and you can win money. So when money involves, uh, obviously there, was a, there will be a greed and also there will be a, uh, like a, how do you say, like a emotion involved more than other fields. So uh, I think that's something that makes things more difficult than other fields and also uh, uh, I think that's because also uh, people want to show off and uh, people want to uh, you know show some greed and uh, uh, yeah I think this is very unique I think so to be honest um, me for me I started this YouTube a while ago a couple of years ago but uh, I never expected this YouTube channel will be growing so much. Uh, now, it keeps growing and that's why I keep doing this. But uh, like I mentioned on the previous video, after the COVID, uh, after COVID recovery, I'm thinking to end the YouTube sometime uh, next, uh, next year. This year, I will keep doing it and I'll keep on my services. But um, next year, I might end because, um, because I want to either uh, take a long break or um, I want to focus on what I do in Dubai. So in that case, I might 
end the uh, videos. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I never expected that this channel will grow so much. And as I see this channel growing, growing, I start to see other YouTubes. Before, I didn't really pay attention to what they do, what everybody, everybody else do, everybody else do uh, on the YouTube. But I started to look into these other YouTubers and what they talk about markets and also Forex and also Ichimoku Kinko Hyo also. And uh, I have many comments and many ideas and also many opinions about it. So, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I think uh, I thought this is a good topic to talk about. I think it's a hot topic to talk about for myself today because I met this uh, person uh, who is joining GTS in April. So, I have my fresh mind after talk to him. So, that's why I decided to talk about this topic today. But, uh, you know, whenever you want to choose someone to teach something, to learn something, um, make sure you take time and do not jump in. Like, uh, I think uh, taking time is very important. So here too, when it comes to choosing who to follow, you better take time. Just like waiting for the trend to come, waiting for the trading edge to come in Forex, you better... Uh, be patient until the person really shows up in front of you. And like I mentioned previously, uh, you know, in Forex or any trading involves a lot about money. And especially when you have, when you don't have money and when you rush to make money psychologically, um, you want to catch something that looks good. Um, I had the same too because uh, after, or actually when I was working full-time job, I was looking for a winning strategy and I was deciding when I will quit the job. And until then, I had to win. I had to look, I had to find a winning strategy and I was rushing to look for the winning strategy and that was my mistake. So um, because after I quit the job, then I know I have no income. So I had to I had to leave myself with the trading. So I was rushing emotionally. And uh, I was catching many indicators and many strategies. I was spending so much time and money, but um, no luck for me, no luck. So I deleted all the indicators afterwards and simply came back to the price action. And then I learned Ichimoku, applied Ichimoku, and everything else made much more sense. And ever since, I gradually started to win, win trades over the yearly basis. But uh, looking back, when I was greedy and when I was rushing to make profits, um, I was actually I was caught by these scams, and I was, I was, you know, uh, how to say, I was uh, attracted to these, you know, uh, good profit indicators or good winning indicator strategies. I was really attracted to these. And that was my mistake. So, yeah, even if you are rush, if you, even if you feel rushed to make profits, uh, please don't get attracted to these, uh, to these flashy numbers and flashy results. Because, um, yeah, they may not work for you. So uh, please take time and be patient until you find you find a real, really good teacher or really good strategy. Until then, you keep studying and studying and gain more knowledge and um, uh, be able to decide uh, which one to pick or um, how to uh, decide who to follow. So that was my topic for today. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, as I mentioned lastly, what do you think about this topic? If you have any feelings or comments, please let me know on the comment below. And uh, I would love to have a look on, the, on your comments. So if you had some bad experience in Forex Teacher, please let me know. Or if you had a good experience, also please let me know. Or if not Forex, you can also tell me your experience on Teacher in different fields. 
I think that will be very interesting. So yeah, so that's it for today's video session. So once again, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do live today because I had to leave soon. But uh, I hope you liked today's video and I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.